This is breaking news. I am Leroy Truth for Leroy Truth Investigations. 11-year-old Timothy Murray, an honor student, was not only arrested, but he was put into solitary confinement for three days. And what was his crime? He wanted help, support from the school, therapy, some type of psychological support because his father had just died. He died of cancer and he saw the whole thing happen. Check this out. And by the way, no one has covered this story in the entire country except the local newspaper, the Texas Observer. There are no videos. There are no online police reports that I found. I am the breaking news channel here covering this. I encourage every other channel who sees this, cover this as well. We need the whole world to know. Lackluster, here's the deal, Sam Joaquin, Sean Long Island audits, accountability for all, Constitution Day, good guy activism. Everybody, James Freeman, cover this story. This boy, this little boy from everything I've seen and read here is an exemplary young man, and he should not have ever been arrested for this. And he's being charged for some type of against his principal, which from what I've read did not happen. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, the prosecutors are refusing to drop the charges on this incredible little boy. Check this out. 11-year-old Timothy Murray has many trophies displayed in a row by the wall of his room. During a video call, he shows me what he's won from science projects, chess competitions, and coding programs, and ends with the largest one in his collection, a three-tiered star-studded trophy he won as grand champion of the Brownsville Independent School District Elementary Science Fair in November 2022. It seems almost as tall as his four-foot, one-inch frame, he explains that the project measured safety factors when driving over the Golden Gate Bridge by changing variables of speed, mass, and the size of the vehicle. This is a sharp young man. It's hard for me to keep up as Timothy speaks and gestures excitedly at his project's colorful trifold board. The project was the last one Timothy worked on with his father before his father died in April from multiple myeloma, a form of blood cancer. His dad had been sick since Timothy was two, and family outings were often trips to the hospital. As his cancer spread, Timothy's dad never tried to hide his sickness. Rather, he demystified the disease, explaining the causes and the symptoms, and preparing Timothy for his possible death. Timothy says that because of his father, he wants to be an oncologist when he grows up. Although his mom laughs about how everyone else thinks her son should be a lawyer, since he likes to argue so much. His father taught him how to speak up and advocate for himself. My dad taught me what is wrong and right. Do this. Don't do that. Finish projects as soon as I can. Because if I'm late, it can hurt my grades, Timothy said. My grades are very fragile right now. I have an 84 in spelling. The rest are in the 90s. But Timothy's efforts to speak out and request counseling for himself at the start of his fifth grade school year at Palm Grove Elementary School led what the family calls retaliation by Palm Grove Elementary School Principal, Myrta Garza. Remember that name. On September 8th, school administrators told Timothy, who had irked the principal with requests for counseling and for clarification on school dress code policies, that another student alleged that he had made threats against Garza. Timothy denied the allegation, but Garza called law enforcement, who detained him and placed him in solitary confinement for three days. Detained is, of course, a fancy name for arrest. Even this newspaper, how they... Who detained him, who arrested him and placed him in solitary confinement for three days at the Daryl B. Hester Juvenile Detention Center in Brownsville. Cameron County prosecutors pushed for Class C felony charges of terroristic threat and argued for two more weeks of detention. Is this crazy, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, this is blatant child by the state, first by the principal, then by the police officers who said, oh yes, we need to arrest Timothy, and then by the prosecutors here. Any judge with any sense would say, end this, and I want to charge the principal and the police officers and the captain and the chief and the prosecutor for wanting to abuse a child. He was charged, they're pushing for classy felony charges of terror. 
and argued for two more weeks of detention. Instead, Judge Adela Kowalski Garza ordered a safety risk evaluation and conditional release home until his hearing November 8th. Juvenile justice experts interviewed by the Texas Observer say the Brownsville Independent School District and police seem... Uh, is this... What happened? Are we living in an upside-down world, ladies and gentlemen? This expert says they seem to have violated state laws and other rules in Timothy's case. It's blatant, just human rights, a little boy's rights, for God's sakes. They, they were originally intended to protect such young children from excessive law enforcement actions. Well, it sure as hell didn't help here, did it? These include a law that requires a school to undergo a fact-based systemic threat assessment involving the parent to determine if there is an imminent threat warranting a referral to law enforcement and a Texas Supreme Court order that prohibits the handcuffing and shackling of young children. State law does allow a minor to be placed in solitary confinement for 24 hours. How do we have a state law like that? This is crazy. It's so wrong. It's evil. Staff at the detention center told Rincon her son was further isolated for COVID, quote, unquote, COVID precautions. This was the choice of the school to refer to law enforcement. The choice of the law enforcement to detain the child. The choice of the prosecutor to charge him and try to trump up the charges, said Renuka Rij, policy advisor at Texas Appleseed, a nonprofit that researches and advocates on many issues, including juvenile justice. All of these things are failures in serving young kids. Now, this is not the end of the story here. Again, there is no video. Almost no one has covered this. The Texas Observer and one other local paper. I want this to get out to the whole world. But here's the kicker. Check this out. The prosecutor refuses to drop the charges. Can it get any more evil than this? Prosecutors refuse to drop charges against the 11-year-old put in solitary confinement. The principal has got to be arrested for child endangerment. The police officers need to be arrested. The prosecutor needs to be arrested. Timothy Murray lost his father earlier this year, had been asking his principal for counseling when she called the police. Now, here is the updated story from just a few weeks ago. A school district and local prosecutors in Texas are refusing to drop charges against an 11-year-old boy, of course, Timothy Murray, who had repeatedly asked his principal for counseling and was then arrested and held in solitary confinement. Following the death of his father, Timothy Murray, reportedly irked Palm Grove Elementary Principal Myrta Garza so much with his request, as well as questions about school dress code that she called Brownsville Independent School District Police. Officers then detained this boy and placed him in solitary confinement for three days at the Darrell B. Hester Juvenile Detention Center and Cameron County prosecutors argued for charges of terroristic threat. Despite being accused of ignoring Texas laws which require parental involvement before such interventions, Cameron County District Attorney Renee Garza told a hearing Wednesday that his office was gathering further evidence against Murray rather than deciding to drop the charges. Lastly, for now, Murray had transferred schools after an original incident from Palm Grove to Canales Elementary, where Garza was in charge until earlier this year. What are your thoughts and feelings on this? Please comment in the comment section. Please like this video. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And also, call the prosecutor's office peacefully and never condone threats whatsoever. Peacefully. Demand that the prosecutor immediately dismiss these charges and file charges on everyone who is responsible for having this little 11-year-old Timothy Murray arrested. Alone we fall, together we stand. Make sure to also join the Army of Freedom at thearmyoffreedom.com where we are organizing and we will have hundreds and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and eventually millions of people as part of the Army of Freedom contacting each week specific politicians, demanding, always peacefully, demanding specific elements so we create police reform, justice, accountability for police and for government officials who do these types of evil things. I am Leroy Truth. Stay tuned for my next video.